In the Gulf Coast, many communities in shambles trying to get all of the help they possibly can. Feeling the strain days after the storm, Fox 2 News' Morella Porter getting in Baymanette this afternoon, which also got it pretty bad from Hurricane Sally, especially in smaller communities. People asking for all the help they can get. It's just, it's a disaster. I've never seen Baymanette like this, never. To see her community in such disarray, a painful sight for Selena Lyles. I don't think anybody was prepared for this storm to be this strong. Hurricane Sally leaving her family homeless after a tree ripped through the roof of their trailer, piercing right into her children's bedroom. Lyles grateful they were not home during the storm. My one year old's bed, the brace literally went through his bed. So, you know, thank God we weren't here because would have lost my one year old, obviously. Even after having lost their home, Lyles feels for her neighbors across Bay Minette, who she says have lost even more. Going into the weekend, many are still in the dark. The sight of hardworking linemen, a relief as downed power lines make a maze of the city. This afternoon, the Baymanette Fire Department distributing 100 FEMA tarps, while countless bags of ice were shared by Baldwin EMC. Neighbors lending a helping hand where they could. Lyle says right now, like many communities along the Gulf Coast, Baymanette needs all of the help they can get. I think the best thing that this, this city needs is, is a lot of prayers and you know some help from generous people that are willing to help others.